Why are ACE inhibitors used in heart failure? If you haven't watched our video on heart failure compensatory mechanisms, which covers the sympathetic nervous system and beta blockers, go back, watch that video first, then come back and join us. You recall that cardiac output equals stroke volume times heart rate. As stroke volume decreases, cardiac output is decreased, body's a little angry about not getting enough blood and oxygen supply, and it starts to compensate. One way it compensates is by activating the renin angiotensin aldosterone system known as RAS. Renin is released from the kidney. Renin goes through this complex process, cleaving angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is then converted by ACE or angiotensin converting enzyme into angiotensin 2. This process occurs through a lot of different pathways, but ACE is the major mechanism. Now angiotensin II is what binds to our angiotensin receptors. And this is where it gets a little dicey because all these different things start to occur. We have vasoconstriction and a resulting increase in systemic vascular resistance and arterial pressure. Sodium reabsorption in the kidneys is stimulated, aldosterone is released, further sodium and water retention occurs, and we have a release of vasopressin, which you remember is an antidiuretic hormone further increasing fluid retention. Similar to what we see with the sympathetic nervous system, chronic activation of the RAS pathway results in damage to the myocardium and contributes to cardiac and vascular hypertrophy. ACE inhibitors prevent the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. The entire pathway gets interrupted. Angiotensin receptor blockers prevent an angiotensin 2 from binding, blocking the cascade of effects, and therefore we have less vasoconstriction, less sodium and water retention, less resulting neurohormonal activation of myocytes. This is why in the long term, ACE inhibitors and ARBs improve left ventricular functioning and reduce morbidity and mortality in heart failure. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown. Make sure you visit mobilehealthconsultants.com and get our next video.